Hello and welcome to the BGA webinar focused on BGA student and graduate membership. My name is Daniel Kirkland and I'm the Senior Marketing Executive at BGA. I'm joined today by BGA's Membership Manager, Rachel Freer, and Avin Tegro's Senior Customer Success Manager, Ryan Cattell. I'd like to introduce the first of our speakers today, Rachel Freer, who is the Membership Manager for the Business Graduates Association at AMBA and BGA. So Rachel joined BGA in 2019 and is responsible for overseeing BGA's student and graduate member proposition, as well as supporting BGA's member, validated and accredited institutions in maximizing the services available to them through their BGA relationship. Working closely with more than 120 business schools within BGA's network, Rachel has an acute understanding of business schools requirements. Rachel was educated at the University of Otago in New Zealand, which gained a Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Science degree, respectively. I'd like to introduce our second speaker, Ryan Cattell. Ryan's the Senior Customer Success Manager at Abintegro and is focused on supporting project launches, driving user engagement across all Abintegro customers to ensure that maximum value is received. He's also involved in the production and promotional training material used by Abintegro's clients. I'll now hand the presentation over to Rachel. Thank you for that introduction, Dan. And thank you to those of you who have taken the time out today to learn more about our BGA student and graduate membership. Listening in today, we have faculty and staff from schools in our BGA network and schools that are considering joining our network. Due to this, I would love to take a few minutes here at the start to provide you with an overview of BGA. Business Graduates Association was officially launched just over a year ago as a complementary yet innovative sister brand to Association of MBA. Our vision is to be the leading global movement for responsible management, positive impact and lifelong learning. We believe that these pillars are vital components in developing the kind of managers and future business leaders that will lead positive change in the climate that we live today. BGA's network of business schools are categorized into three different tiers, where we focus on quality improvement for your school to advance through these tiers. BGA Bronze status is our educational membership. This is structured and tailored to give business schools the tools that you need to serve your core market of students and employers. BGA Silver status is validation. This has been created as a cost-effective, time-efficient and flexible quality assurance process against the BGA Charter. Then following on from this, BGA Gold status is accreditation. This is a holistic and rigorous business school accreditation with the focus on the components of continuous improvement, impact and responsible management practices of an institution. While validation is not a prerequisite to accreditation, we recommend this to support your institution in preparation to achieve accreditation. Within the last 15 months since we launched, I'm pleased to report that we have just now under 130 business schools within our network. From this, we have seven of those that have been awarded BGA accreditation and one school that has been awarded BGA validation. From the map on the screen here, you can certainly see the diverse locations that these schools are based around the world. 63% come from Asia and the Middle East, 30 of the schools come from Europe, 14 schools come from the UK, 14 from Latin America, 4 in Africa and then 3 schools from North America and the Caribbean. The full list of all our schools within our network is publicly available on our website at the link shown here should you wish to learn more.
One of the benefits as a business school within our BGA network is individual membership for your students and graduates to, to join completely free of charge. I will discuss each of the resources available in our membership offering shortly, but for now, I would love to draw your attention to the registration process. Your students and graduates will be directed to our registration page on the website you can see here and required to complete this form. As part of the authentication process, we match your business school to your student school email address or school code provided by BGA. The way we have structured this complimentary student and graduate offering is based on your institution status with us. If you are currently a BGA member school, all of your students within your business school are eligible for membership. Then, if you advance through to validated or accredited status, this unlocks memberships for your recent graduates as well. Validated allows those who have graduated within the last two years and accredited allows those who have graduated within the last five years to join as members. For the remaining of the webinar, Ryan and I will discuss the membership in more detail. This has been designed to support your student and graduates achieve excellence in their chosen roles regardless of where they are in their career journey. So how we achieve this um, can be split up into three different categories, careers, awareness, and network. We understand the importance of employability in ensuring that your students are making the most of their business qualification. So with this in mind, one of our most popular resources in the membership offering is our Career Development Centre. This online centre is here to support your students in building a CV, finding relevant jobs and completing e-learning skills courses. This platform has been created for us by Abinti Grow, and Ryan will certainly show you more detail about the CDC later in this webinar. We also host monthly webinars that bring speakers from a diverse set of industries designed to help your students and graduates develop in areas including self-confidence, responsible management, career planning, and job performance, just to name a few. To provide you with an example of one of our member webinars, we hosted one yesterday on the topic of work-life balance. All of our members were invited to attend this webinar and listen to Morton's discussion and ask any questions on the topic at the end of it. We always at it around midday UK time to fit in with as many time zones worldwide. And always for those webinars, or for those members that are unable to attend this webinar, we always ensure that we um, have the recordings available on our website for future reference. Over the past four to six weeks, we have certainly seen an increase in registration and attendance of our webinars. So we're really pleased to be able to provide ongoing development and insight for our members during this time. The next group of benefits that I would like to draw your attention to is the availability of professional development and career guidance specially tailored to your students and recent graduates. Within our team here at EGA, we like to provide high quality content by gaining insight and research from our wide range of networks within our community and produce these findings in one place. This is done primarily on our business impact online hub, available to your students to view once they've signed up for membership. We also have a BGA book club, where our team hand selects a book each month to support your students' development. At the moment, it is mostly physical books 
but some of the publishers do have an ebook version to purchase as well. It is thanks to our great relationships that we have with these publishers that we can provide your students with discounts up to 35% of the retail price. The updated business impact articles, along with all of our other benefits, are located here in the members portal on our website. Some of the most recent articles available on our business impact online hub includes a series based on virtual recruitment, advice on how to get into the fintech sector, and tips for budding entrepreneurs. Then a recent book club book that has been featured in the BGA book club is The Conscious Effort by Natasha Wallace, with BGA members enjoying a 20% discount on this book. Another important aspect is the network that our membership provides. By having skills in the BGA network from all around the globe, this is also seen in the geographical location of our members. To provide you context on our member base currently, 37% of our members are based in Europe, 25% of our members are based in Latin America, 17% of those in Africa, 12% in Asia, including the Middle East, and 12% here in the UK. To help facilitate these networks, we have a closed LinkedIn group for members to be able to share and discuss their ideas. And we also host social and learning events for BGA members. To provide you with an example of one of our events this month, was an opportunity for our members to connect with potential employers through our online career connections forum in partnership with Holt International Business School. By collaborating with Holt, we were able to invite diverse employers from each of our networks who were still hiring throughout COVID-19 and to be able to provide the employers a diverse audience from both Holt students and our BGA members around the world who are interested in working for these organisations. The format of the event took place over a week where the sessions from each employer were 40 minutes in duration, 20 minutes from the employer to present about their company, and 20 minutes from the audience to ask any questions. And as you can see on the screen here, an example of CMAX, this all took place via Zoom. Afterwards, we have uploaded all the recorded sessions to our web page um, for future reference for our members. Then finally, I would like to spend a few minutes to discuss the lifestyle perk, as this is one of the last benefits available within the membership offering. BGA has partnered with global brands to provide members with fantastic discounts on products and services. For example, by partnering with the Mindfulness app, your students can access a month free trial with their premium version. The partner office is something we are continuously on the lookout to grow with organisations that align with our vision and will help best support the development of our members and your students. So certainly if you've got any suggestions or recommendations there, please do let me know. Great, so that, that is um, a quick overview about the memberships and benefits. I will now like to pass yourself over to Ryan from Adam Tupro, who will provide certain and um, a few more details about our career development centre. Awesome, thank you, Rachel. Um, hi everyone, as I was already introduced, Ryan here from Abintegro. Um, I'm going to walk you through um, a few different sections of the Career Development Centre to hopefully bring it to life for you a little bit, um, highlight the content and the range of content in there. Um, but I thought I'd start just with two minutes background on 
who we are at Bintegro. Um, so we, of course, partner with BGA to provide the Career Development Centre to all BGA members. Um, and we've been doing this across a range of industries and organisations for, for, for 15 years now. So producing, engaging online content tools and resources to support both the, the career and the professional development um, of people at every stage of their career. So ranging from students looking to move into their first role and the support they might need, um, right through to, to senior leaders within business and providing them tools, advice um, on how to develop professionally. Um, we started working with academic institutions 15 years ago and we, as a business we started with core employability so how do we help students optimize their cv their interview make sure they're confident and ready um, for the process of a job search and how do we make sure they're in touch with the most relevant vacancies um, in the 15 years since we've we've grown significantly we've moved into new sectors and new markets um, we now work with um, over 80% of the UK's academic institutions, as well as in um, Africa, Australia, the US and, and out elsewhere in Europe. Um, we also work with some of the largest corporate organisations in the world, um, supporting internal mobility, but also professional development for their employees. And that's taken us into to whole new sectors in terms of the content that we produce and the support we're looking to provide. Um, and then outside of those two markets, we also work with um, executive coaching firms so providing support material for the coaching they're providing to um to their their customers um, and membership firms of course as we see here today um, and what the what the bga platform is is an amalgamation of all of those markets it's where we would segment our content for the relevant market bga having a a, a diverse audience in terms of seniority and requirements we we've, we've made all content available in here um, so what I'm going to do, as I say, is walk through these journeys and what I'm going to look at is firstly a member um, who requires some support with their employability, so that, that core topic and in that I don't want to talk about the the advice we would offer that potentially um, you're already doing as business schools, I'm sure you're supporting your students with their employability. I want to look at the tools that, speaking from experience and the customers I work with already, really sit alongside what they're doing as an institution, um, enhance and support the processes already in place. We'll then look at the other end of the spectrum. And we'll look at a member looking to develop their, their management and leadership skills. So whether that's somebody in a role now or more likely somebody with the ambitions to go there, how the, the CDC gives them the opportunity to get ahead um, and, and start putting some of that learning in place before they're, they're in those roles. And then finally, we'll finish with a softer skill, but one that has proved over well, the last two years in, in, in truth, but particularly recently in the last month or two, um, has proven to be one of the most popular topics and parts of our platform. And that's resilience um, and well-being. Um, so a topic we've put a lot of focus on in the last year. Of course, there was a lot of coverage and, and spotlight on, the, on, on it anyway. And that's only been enhanced in the last month or two with the difficult circumstances people find themselves in. And as I walk through, I'll talk about how some of this is content, how some of this content is used by other organizations. Um, and I'll talk about where it comes from. So where we as Abintegro get this content um, and hopefully give a bit of credibility to what sometimes be quite faceless online learning. So starting with employability, the first tool I wanted to talk about in here, and I'm not going to go into every single button in the platform, don't worry, but I'm going to talk about what we call CV360. BGA is in fact the only membership organization offering this right now. What CV360 is, it's an automated CV checking tool um, with a specific focus on applicant tracking systems. So the CV360 being essentially a robot, um, it is best positioned to inform a, a member or a student how a robot's going to read their CV. Um, it runs 58 automated checks in total. Um, so a student comes in, they can upload a CV. That CV can be built in the platform using the CV Builder tool, but it could be a, a document they've, they've created separately. They run it through the 50 checks. The, 
the CV360 tool will firstly analyze it and tell them any errors. Um, what it will also do is it will paint them a picture of exactly how an applicant tracking system is going to read that CV and what that CV is saying about them as far as an applicant tracking system is concerned. And that can be very different to the way a human reads a CV. Um, there are very niche details um, that, that need to be considered when putting a CV through an applicant tracking system, which is increasingly used, especially in large organizations or for any, any student who's looking to use a, a job board or work with a large recruiter, um, chances are that CV is first going to go through an ATS uh, before it ever reaches a human being. So CV360 gives them what they need to know exactly what that's going to say about them when they put that in. Equally, the way this tool is used a lot by academic institutions outside of just thinking about an ATS is that it's a support tool and almost a first step before working with somebody within the institution to, to get that CV ready for an application. So careers teams within um, academic institutions are, are the experts and they're there to help a student tailor their CV for the role or the market or the industry they're looking to work into to move into what CV360 do will do is take care of all the basics it will make sure it's formatted correctly or make sure that um, yeah, basics like spelling and white space on the page are all covered so the human who then works with the student can can focus on where they can really help and where they can really add value as opposed to being bogged down in the basics of getting a, a document correct as a CV um, so that's the first tool I wanted to talk about and as I say, very, very highly used across our academic institutions. The other is our job search engine. Now, I'm well aware there are plenty of job search engines out there. Um, I want to talk about what ours does specifically. So we work with the, the largest job aggregator in the world. So there are millions of vacancies in here at any time. Um, global vacancies, not restricted to the UK at all. Um, and what we've done is we've wrapped our own search parameters around those jobs. So where a public job board is incentivized commercially um, by clicks, they get paid every time somebody clicks on a role. Therefore, um, their focus is to put as many vacancies and links in front of um, a student searching for a job as possible to get them clicking and get them um, paying. We have no incentive like that. We, we make absolutely no money off the back of a job search engine. We make absolutely no money every time a student clicks on a job. So it's in our interest to focus on relevance of vacancies. We want users to find the right vacancies for them in here or they won't come back and use our job search engine again. So we, we the search parameters we use are very different to those that you would find on an, on an online job search engine, even looking at a vacancy that might appear elsewhere outside of this platform, we, we pulled into different search results here. Um, and the other thing we've done a lot of work on is job matching. So given the huge volume of vacancies going into this platform every single day, hundreds if not thousands every day going into the platform, we want to make sure that our users um, know about them first. So there's job matching tools within here where a student can set their preferences based on locations, roles, salary, etc., cetera, um, and be up informed every time there's a relevant, vac relevant vacancy that matches their needs. And again, what I described before comes into play there. We're only looking to highlight the most relevant vacancies. We're not looking to, to to get them accessing as many as possible. Um, so for you as an institution, that's a way of making sure that you, your students, as well as all the vacancies I'm sure you're surfacing to them and making them aware of, are as on top as they possibly can be of everything available to them in terms of work. Um, and I want to stop there in terms of employability. That's all I want to talk about. There are a huge number of tools. There are um, the CV building tool I referenced, there's a, an interview practice tool where users can go on camera and answer the 100 most commonly asked interview questions with advice from employers behind every question. There's tools for building cover letters and elevator pitches. There are reports on specific industries which are updated every six months. But those are the tools I think are most useful there. What I want to move on to now is management and leadership development. So a really popular tool across all of our corporate platforms, but increasingly popular in our academic institution platforms as well. Um, and as a starting point on that, we have a really effective management skills assessment. So this is for somebody first thinking about themselves as a manager. Um, where do I need to develop and what am I already strong at? So you run through this, it's a 50 question multiple choice assessment. At the end, it will tell you where to focus your development, which leads quite nicely into our development and management techniques section. Um, and I'll take a second here if I could, just to talk about where our content comes from now. So this, what we're seeing on screen here, is made up of 
short snappy coaching videos, um, e-learning courses ranging from five minutes through to 45 minutes and written articles. Um, and the platform as a whole is being added to every single month. And we get our content from a few different places. We have an internal content team, which are former coaches, um, journalists and e-learning specialists working together to produce this content. Um, but then we have a huge and ever-growing panel of employers that we work with, um, capturing their advice, whether it be on camera or taking that advice and applying it to e-learning and written articles, and a highly qualified panel of career coaches. Now, we have a huge demand from from coaches to get into our platform because we have millions of people moving through here every every month, and um, it gives them great visibility. What that allows us to do, um, in the nicest way possible, is be very picky about who we allow to contribute to the platform. Um, really qualify that and also make sure we have specialists in topic areas. So looking at developing management techniques, I'll scroll down just to give you an idea of some of the, the sort of content we have. And um, the advice will range from first time managers to so somebody moving into a, a management role for the first time, um, maybe looking at technical specialists who are taking on management responsibility and the difference there, all the way up to experienced managers. Um, and an example of a coach that contributes in here who's very popular and has a lot of content in here is Jeff. Um, all of our coaches are visible, so for any user they can click contributors. We like to be as transparent as we possibly can be about where this advice is coming from. Um, and Jeff's experience, which he uses in, uh, or he applies to a lot of the advice he gives in here, is working with high-level sports teams and business people. So he coached the, the Rugby World Cup winning team of in, within um, the UK in 2004, he coached the Olympic team. Um, he's also worked with a range of CEOs and, and managing directors. Um, and he, he looks at how sports people in particular um, motivate teams and applies that to the business world. Um, for any user, they can come in here, they can read a bio on Jeff, they can click play and there's a three minute video of Jeff just describing those credentials I've just gone through. Um, so that as a user, as one of your students using the CDC, they know that this is, um, credible content um, that they're getting access to. Um, these, this management content you see on screen here is actually being used right now in a, a Magic Circle law firm as um, support material to their internal management and leadership development um, programs. And just talking on leadership development, we do differentiate between management and leadership. So in here, similar content um, from a range of contributors looking at actually the difference between management and leadership. Um, and then the final journey I wanted to talk about here was resilience and well-being. Um, I've already explained why it's particularly um, relevant right now. There's a few assessments that would be a starting point for a, for a user in here. So 14 assessments in total, some of the most relevant. You can assess your resilience levels, understand where you can potentially improve that, your emotional control and your stress management. So three assessments there as a starting point for anybody looking to work on their resilience and well-being. Um, and having taken those, they can move into content. Now we look firstly at work-life balance. Um, as you can see right here, we've been adding content right now on work-life balance when working from home because that's a problem many people are facing right now. We also look at resilience levels specifically and we have coaches who specialize here, um, just as we had Jeff talking about um, talking about management and leadership development we have coaches like Julia and Gemma who I won't open their profiles now because I think you guys get the idea um, they, they are specialists in emotional intelligence resilience how people develop that how that applies to the workplace and why it's important and how to even demonstrate that in things like interviews when you're applying for roles so how to take your soft skills and make them clear to a potential employer um, and then we look specifically at well-being and this is the sort of content that's been proving increasingly popular. Um, things like mindfulness, relaxation, meditation, how you can apply that to the workplace and how that alongside stuff like sleep, exercise, um, can help you perform better, both, both in your role, in your studies, going through a job application process. Um, altogether, just those three topics I've described there, you've probably got around 100 learning resources, um, broken down into quite specific topics because we, we take the just-in-time learning approach rather than having um, a user sit through a two-hour course on well-being. We break it down into very specific areas, as you see on screen here, mindset, ambiguity, conversations, relationship building, agility. Um, so as a user, you can come in and find the content that is most relevant to you and, and engage in that. Um, 
our wellbeing content was recently rolled out in a in a program for all staff of a global bank um, as they looked to be or they, they wanted to be seen to be supporting that um, and the, the entire program was online and was um, was made available to every single employee um, so I'll, I'll wrap up there on the content in terms of the platform itself it's, it's of course it's available 24 7 um, as you'd expect from an online platform every single section of the platform is mobile responsive um, and it's also available as a mobile app so whichever way a user prefers to access they can download their app um, Apple or Android onto their phone or onto their tablet it's all um, everything branded for BGA um, and they can access that anytime they like or they can log in using mobile devices or on a desktop and laptop and, and get in here. Um, final thing I'll, I'll highlight just before I pass back to Rachel is the range of content. I didn't want to spend an hour today talking through every single topic we cover, but what I've got on screen here, just on the left hand side, is our, our granular breakdown of, of topics that we cover. Um, employability is of course something we specialize in, um, CVs, interviews, job search. The platform is a lot more than that, ranging from that through to the sort of things I described there, through to teamwork, communication, personal branding, and then even looking at quite specific things like um, how best to utilize Microsoft Office, so Excel, Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook. It's a huge range of content in here. And we, as an organization, support a huge spectrum of people in terms of seniority, career path, industries, um, and that's hopefully why it's, it's such an effective tool for, for BGA. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to wrap up there and pass back to Rachel. Um, but of course, if anybody has any questions for me, I'd be um, I'd be happy to answer them. But back over to you, Rachel. Perfect. Thank you for that, Ryan. Um, I hope that provides you very insightful information. Where you know, as Ryan described, there are so many different wealth of resources available in that CBC. And like I said, this is actually one of our most popular tools in our membership offering. Before we go into questions, um, I'd like to just summarise a few sort of, you know, key takeouts for you about our BGA student and membership offering. The first one being, you know, this is absolutely free of charge for your students and graduates if you're at that validated or accredited status. Um, there's no cost and they can have these resources um, for as long as they like. So once they graduate with your institution, you know, they are still continuing to be BGA members. Um, so we essentially have lifelong membership. And as you can see from the resources, whether that's in our Business Impact Online Hub or in the CBC, there are certainly different resources that help at all career stages for your students. My last second, second to last point is, you know, our resources are certainly being designed to be complementary to your own institution services, whether that's um, career services you have available or that in-person one-to-one connections. And of course, lastly, the access that your students get to a wider network of business students from all around the world. As you can see from the map that I showed earlier, um, you know, there is certainly such a range of skills and that certainly helps for your students to gain ideas and get insights from um, their peers who are also studying very similar degrees. Great. Thank you very much, Rachel. And thanks a lot, Ryan, for your time there. We're now moving to a question and answer session. We've got a few questions that have rolled in already. Uh, if you'd like to ask a question, you can navigate to the panel, which which is provided by GoToWeber on the right-hand side, and feel free to type away and we'll answer those as we can. So first question, does your job board include MBA intern or leadership development programs? Um, a question for me, that one. I believe, yes, it does. Um, and there are actually um, tools actually already in place in the BGA and Amber platforms. Um, to surface those for your users because we know that's the audience um, but yeah it's far from just graduate roles um, there, are, there are roles from you know um, all the way up to senior leadership level and yeah there, there, there's a lot of um, MBA schemes in there. Thanks for answering that Ryan. Next question does BGA provide marketing material to be used in creating awareness of benefits of BGA to our students? That one's for you, Rachel. 
Thank you for that. Yeah, certainly. So, you know, we're definitely here to be able to support you, spread the message that you are a member institution with us. Um, and also to, you know, share awareness that your students are eligible for this free membership. Um, so that's something we can work in collaboration with each other, whether it's, you know, posters that you need to put around your campus, um, whether it's social media images or email templates to go out to your students, um, whatever is the best communication method that you use to communicate to your students. So I'm more than happy to discuss individually with each school about how we can best communicate this. Thanks, Rachel. What are the range of jobs that are provided on the job platform and what job platform do you work with? That one's for you, Ryan. That one is for me. Um, so the core source of the, the jobs we work with is Indeed.com. So I mentioned uh, the world's largest job aggregator there, and that is Indeed.com. So the way Indeed work for anybody not familiar is, as well as having their own feed, um, they, they aggregate jobs across other online job boards um, and internal job boards. So that's a large source of our vacancies. We do also have a network of our own, of direct employers, um, there is very much a QA and approval process in between, to be clear, um, but they have the ability to give us jobs as well to be posted across of our, across our platforms. So um, the incentive for them, of course, is it, is it gets their vacancies in front of uh, our audience, which is huge. Um, the advantage for us is we, we get very qualified jobs coming directly from the people looking to fill those roles within the organisations. Um, so those are the two key feeds. BGA do also have a feed of jobs going in there as well in, in, in behind the scenes, which is unique to, to the BGA platform. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, we've got time for a few more questions here. Uh, with students registering for membership, how do you ensure that they're from our business school and not from other schools within the university? Thanks, Dan. Yeah, that, that's a really good question. So um, I did touch briefly about the registration process, but um, for your students, they would get a link and go onto our website to register. Now, the way that we do the authentication process is matching your school name to their school email address or code we provide. They also, at this point, need to put in um, what program that they're studying. And that's something we're able to do in the background of some spot checks of, you know, ensuring that they are business students studying towards a business degree rather than an arts or a law degree. Thanks, Rachel. And do alumni also have access to the platform? So yes, so for um, if you are a BGA member school, then all of your current students are eligible for, for membership. However, then if you are at our validated or accredited status, one of the benefits for being at these levels is BGA graduate membership. So at the validation level, any of your graduates who have been graduated in the last two years can join membership. And for accredited, those that have completed their degree in the last five years can join. Thanks, Rachel. Can employers submit vacancies directly to you in the event that they're headhunting? Um, I think a question for us. So. There is the ability to do that, yes. Um, we, like I already described that, sorry, it wasn't something I was going to reference today because it's not specific to BGA, but we do have our own tool um, where, I, I already described it, you know, recruiters internally from organisations can post vacancies. Um, is something that can be done alongside BGA as well. So it's definitely a conversation Ab Integro could facilitate um, with BGA to have roles posted directly into the BGA platform. Um, absolutely, the functionality is all there to do that. Thanks for that one, Ryan. Oh, we've got time for a few more questions. So we'll go for three more. Are you able to visit our campus to present the proposition of student and graduate membership? Uh, are you, yeah, so are you able to visit our campus to present this? Yeah, certainly. So um, I'm based here in London in the UK. So certainly I'm very keen to have, you know, those engaging face-to-face -face conversations with your students to um, 
you know, help them understand how to make the most of this BGA membership. So certainly if you are in the UK or Europe, you know, that's certainly a way around to be able to do that. Now for perhaps those business skills that are further afield, whether that's, you know, um, North America, Africa, that type of thing. What I have been talking with some of my business skills is um, doing a live virtual stream where, you know, I can do a short presentation and your students will be able to ask, ask me any questions that they have. And we can, you know, much like today, run through a bit more of an interactive session on how to make the most of the resources available to them. Thanks for that one, Rachel. Uh, and we'll go for the final question of the day. Do you provide updates to business schools on how many students have registered for membership? Yes, so um, that's certainly I keep in contact with schools, you know, whether that's a monthly or quarterly basis, um, updating them just on the number of how many of your students and graduates have become members with us. Due to our GDPR regulations here in the UK, I cannot give out personal details, um, but I'm more than happy to give you an overview of how many people have registered from your school and perhaps what they're finding the most useful, or what we're seeing them um, as the popular resources that they're using. Thank you for answering that. That brings us to the conclusion of today's webinar. I'd like to thank Rachel and Ryan for your insight today. That's been fantastic and a great learning experience for myself. Uh, we'll be sending out recordings of the webinar within the week, so keep an eye out for those in your inbox. Thank you all.